Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, so I am back once again in my uh, another video. So guys, in this video, I will be teaching you guys on how to detect the shake um, motion using the accelerometer sensor in your Android application. All right. So we will learn the concepts of uh, sensors in this video. So uh, we will be experimenting the accelerometer uh, sensors that how it is used and how it is how can we detect the change in the in our android activity when the user shake the his mobile phone okay so let's get started so let me open my android studio and here we will be having a new project named as my sensor sorry shake sensor tutorial all right and I will be using the API 24 Android 7.0 Nougat. All right, so we will click on next. All right, so let me change it to Marshmallow. All right, and click on next empty activity and we will name the activity as main activity all right so guys in the meanwhile if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe i will be creating a and i will be uploading a lot more videos all right on android app development so if you like the video please like share and subscribe So it is taking a, a bit of time so we just have to wait although my Android studio is a bit very fast but let's wait for the gradle to complete let me check if we need the accelerometer uh, permission so okay so we don't need any permission so first of all what we will do is we will have this activity and whenever this activity is opened we will be creating a you can say we will be implementing uh, the a service okay which will be running in the uh, background so first of all let me change it to relative layout okay and let me remove this so okay so now in our main activity what we will be doing is we will be creating our uh, service so create new java class and in here we can say my sensor service and what it is it's just a class and click ok so we will have this class and we need to extend it with service okay so it's saying we have to implement two methods on bind and okay so we just need the on bind method but we also need on create method so here we will be using the interface okay which named uh, so we can say implements sensor event listener okay so we will be using this one sensor event listener so it's saying that you have to uh, implement the method on accuracy change so first of all in our here we can say on accuracy change and the other method is on sensor change all right these two are the methods which we which we need to uh, implement okay so now uh, i will divide this video in several parts okay so first of all we have to initialize the variables okay so we will be requiring three axes x axis y axis and z axis okay so first of all uh, let me say float we will be uh, requiring the float x excel y excel and z excel all right 
and also we need the previous excel uh, acceleration uh, value so we can say float x previous excel y previous excel and v previous excel all right and we need to detect the uh, first change okay motion change sorry so for that we can say boolean we can name it as first update equals to true okay so first of all the default value will be true and we also need the flow uh, the shake threshold okay so how what will be the degree on which the shake uh, will be detected so we can say float shake threshold equals to uh, we can give a value so we can say 12.5 f okay and it will be the difference of the acceler acceleration okay so now what we can do we also need another variable boolean shake initiated or not okay so first of all the default value will be false it will say that the motion uh, uh, the shaken motion is started or not okay so this first step is now completed we have initialized our variables okay so now what we will be doing is we will be uh, using the sensor so we can say we have to initialize the sensor so we say sensor excel accelerometer and we also need sensor manager okay these two are the very uh, are the objects which we need and we can initialize them in our own create method so after or super dot on create we can say sm equals to sensor manager and here we can say get system service sensor service okay and now we can also initialize the, accelerator, the, the sensor as accelerometer equals to uh, uh, sensor manager dot get default sensor and we can type the uh, sensor sensor service sorry so we will be saying uh, sen sensor dot type okay so we need to uh, set the type of the sensor so we can say type accelerometer okay and the last step here is we have to register the listener okay this one sensor event mm -hmm. listener so we can set a listener for it so we can say set, set a sensor manager dot register listener okay and in here what we can provide is this okay and accelerometer i mean the sensor and sensor manager dot sensor delay normal okay so our first step is completed we have initialized our uh, sensor and we have set the listener for the sensor manager okay so now in our own sensor change uh, method what we can do here is we will be updating our acceler acceleration value so we have to create a method so we can say update excel parameters okay and here we will be having three values from this event object okay the three axes i mean x axis y axis and z axis so we have to pass the three axis from here so what we can do is we can say event dot values so first index then second index and finally the third index all right so first of all what we can do is we have to update the excel parameters so right click and create 
method here okay so we have this uh, update excel parameters method so here we will have three values for the value value one value two so we will change these values from x new excel y new excel z new excel all right and here we will check if the first update is true or not okay if first update and what we can do here is we can say x previous excel equals to x new excel similarly y previous excel equals to y new excel and z previous excel equals to z new excel all right and we will set the first update to false okay and in our else part what we will do we will set the values of our previous excel to the x uh, excel okay so we can say x previous excel equals to x excel y similarly y previous excel equals to y excel and z previous excel equals to z excel all right and after that the last value which we need to set will be the x excel equals to x new excel y excel equals to y new excel z excel equals to z new excel all right so this will be the uh, update excel uh, method so after that uh, when the accelerometer but uh, values are updated so we here we have to check we have to check if the shake initiated uh, if the shake is initiated or not and if the acceleration is changed or not okay so first of all we can say if shake initiated shake is sorry shake initiated okay and okay so here we will be having a new and is acceleration change okay if the acceleration is change so what we will do is we will set the shake initiated to true and then else if we will check if shake initiate uh, shake initiated if the shake is uh, initiated and is acceleration change okay if the x is acceleration change if shake is uh, initiated and its acceleration is also changed then we what we will do we will, uh, here we can we can say execute shake action okay so here we will set the action when the shake will be executed or the when the shake is uh, de detected okay and finally we can say else if here we can say shake initiated and is acceleration change okay if the acceleration is not changed so we will set the shake initiated to false okay so now the next step is we have to set the is acceleration change method okay so here what we can do let me say public boolean is acceleration change okay so here we will detect if acceleration is uh, values are changed okay and if the if change is in at least two axis so we can detect the shake motion okay so here what we can do we have to uh, create another uh, 
variables float delta x equals to math dot abs absolute and here we can say x previous xl minus x xl okay and similarly float delta y equals to math dot abs x previous xl minus sorry y previous xl minus y xl similarly float delta z equals to math dot abs z previous xl minus z xl all right so we have these three variables and we will return and delta x is greater than shake threshold and delta y is greater than shake threshold okay here we we can say or if delta x is greater than shake threshold delta z is greater than shake threshold and delta y is greater than shake threshold and delta z is greater than shake threshold okay so we will return the values and <coughs> sorry guys so uh, the last step is we have to uh, to execute the shake uh, to write the method execute, execute shake action okay so we create another another method okay and here what we can do we can say okay let me see how can we let me open my project and here we can see shake where is the shake and say this one okay so we can start a new activity by using this code okay so just paste the code here for our activity so we will open this uh, second activity and here we can say this and the second activity dot class and we can open the second activity so here we can we have to create another activity so that when the shake is done we have to open the second activity second activity okay and i hope so that the error from there is gone okay so in the meanwhile what we can do so here we have to set the layout to relative layout and here we can say we have to set the edit uh, text view and we can say text size 24 sp and text we can say shake detected all right this is the second activity okay so in our first uh, main activity we have to initialize or we have to open the a service so we can say intent my intent equals to new intent here we can say this and my sensor service dot class and we have to start service and we can say my intent service all right so now let me open all right so let's open the mirror go app and let's check if our 
code is working fine or not all right so let me connect my android phone all right so let me open the developer options to own and here what we can do is we now we need to run our application let's see if it works or not okay so now let's run the application here let's i hope that it works so guys i have just updated to android no good 7.0 So guys please subscribe to my channel okay so now the application is running okay and the service is also running now so I close the uh, close the application and when I shake my mobile and let me check if it works or not so now if guys so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe here you guys can see